Okay, so today we're going to attempt to attach this um, Pelton wheel. I got this off eBay. It's quite nice actually, really quite pleased with it. I'm going to go with the Pelton wheel as opposed to the original water wheel design I was going to go with. I changed my mind. I, I need the extra efficiency of, of, of a turbine rather than a wheel, so we're going to change it. So I've got this and we're going to get that attached to this uh, permanent magnet um, alternator. This is a, a three phase 24 volt permanent magnet alternator. So okay, it's clamped on and centered. Put that in the center hole. It's nice and central. Probably doesn't look it on camera, but it is. So now I'm gonna take the drill, drill down through it nice and square. So unfortunately I need these uh, I need these cables to come out the other side of this because this is the wrong way around otherwise. So I'm just uh, just flipping it around or moving the cables or just taking it apart. So I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm not recording because I'm figuring it out as I go along but essentially I need to flip the whole thing around so cables come out the right way. Okay so we've got a slot there now so hopefully that can slide in there. Okay, that's good. Alright, I've got to squeeze together, let's get this seal back in. Alright. Then I put the bolts in and that should squeeze it together then, hopefully. Then we'll check it works. Um, we've got our cables coming out the side now what we wanted. I've uh, fiddled around with the bolts a little bit, managed to get it a little bit more balanced. Pretty good now. It's good enough for these purposes. As good as I'm going to get it without pressing machining tools and stuff, so I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's going to work. So, that's good. Next job is to build the housing. So that's what we should do next. Right, I'm just going to run a quick test on this here. I've got this. Going for a bridge rectifier, just gonna power this light. See if we're producing power. Oh, I'll touch it there. There we go. Yeah. That's working. There's a shape. Cut that out. Transfer that. Detail.
together. So, knees welding properly and then grinding. That is the housing of the turbine. Okay, so this is what we got so far. We've got adapter plate. You know, this is a 400 watt um, permanent magnet alternator three phase, so we can do 400 watts out of that. We've got a Pelton wheel on the inside, which is going to spin. There'll be a jet coming in through here, water that hits that, and then the leftover water will, well, the used water will come out of here, fall down through a grate back into the stream. Okay, getting somewhere. I put these bits on. I had these bits of scrap aluminium lying around, so I decided to use them. I put these on to support these sides to keep them square. So it's looking good. It's coming along. It's going to be a nice, tidy little unit once it's done. So, welding, grinding, we'll get some bolts and things, but yeah, she's coming along good. It's going to look really cool, really nice. I'm going to paint the whole thing black, including this. We're going to leave these aluminium. I think that'll look nice. Yeah, happy with it. It's going to be cool. Thank you. 
So there it is, all done. Hand built Pelton turbine. It cost me about, oh, I don't know, 250 pounds or something to build. This was 100 pounds because it's very good quality. I already had this, but at some point it was 100 pounds, around about. The wheel was about 20 or 30, the Pelton wheel was about 30, I think, and then there's a bit of scrap metal and stuff, so it wasn't expensive and it's fun to build. So, gonna have a big pipe coming in here, we're gonna have this over the stream. Uh, it wasn't producing much power on the pump because the pump's not a very high powered pump, it was as expected, but it was turning. I might have to fiddle around with the uh, jet angle by, by packing out this and moving it a little bit for efficiency reasons. But, we have a starting point now. That's what we're gonna use, it's gonna, it's gonna be generating the power for the roundhouse. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Soon we'll be uh, making another video with about the intake and probably the platform for this to sit on. So, I haven't been making many videos recently because I've been busy sorting out things from my old life and now I'm back and I'll be back making more regular content now. So I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, see you later.